Hi guys, it's Elliot from tutorialize.net and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how you can create a RESTful API with Python and the AIO HTTP framework. Now the full text write-up for this tutorial can be found on my website and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Now before we get into how we can use the AIO HTTP framework, it's important to know exactly what the framework is and what it can do for us. So to start with, it features excellent support of the HTTP protocol, as well as for WebSockets, which makes it ideal for working with popular WebSocket libraries such as Socket.io. If you're interested in seeing how to implement a simple client-server Socket.io based solution, then I'll leave a tutorial link in the description below. In order to use the AIO HTTP framework, you'll first have to install it using the pip command. So pip install AIO HTTP. This will install all the dependencies and all the, uh, the full framework so that you can then use it within your Python applications. So to get started with our new simple API, we're gonna to want to do the following. So from the AIO HTTP framework, import the web module and also import the JSON module so that we can easily construct our JSON responses to whenever somebody hits our REST API. Next, what we're gonna to want to do is define an async function. And this will be async def handle, and it'll take in request as the first and only parameter. Within the body of this function, we're going to want to do the following. Response object equals, and we're going to make this a dict status, and just success. Nice and simple. And finally, we're going to want to return web.response and we're going to pass in the text as json.dumps response object. And we also want to set the status to equal 200. So that's all we need. Close that. And we're also going to want to then define our application. So app equals web.application. And we're going to want to register our base root with our handle function here. So we can do that by calling app.router.add get and handle. And what this does is it basically specifies that whenever somebody hits the, the base root of our API endpoint, or our RESTful API, it will then forward this request to our handle function, which we've defined here. Now this will then run through this line of code, or that, these two lines of code, It'll define our response object and it will simply return that response object with stats of 200. Finally, to get our app up and running, we do app and pass in our new application object. Now that we've done that, we simply have to call python 3.6 app.py and this will start our REST API running on localhost or 0000 on port 8080. So now that we've started our REST API, we can now go into a REST client and start to test our API. So I've got Postman installed on my local version of Chrome. So what I want to do is specify HTTP forward slash localhost with port 8080 and just a simple forward slash path. I want to make this a GET request. So when I send this, I'll see that the status has been successfully returned as 200. And I'll also see the JSON output of our response object. So everything's worked up to this point, which is perfect. So now that we've created a very basic single endpoint API, we can now start to build on top of this and start exposing different routes that use different HTTP verbs. So in this example, we're gonna build a very simple post request endpoint that takes in a name via a query parameter. And we can do this by calling async def new user and takes in request much like above and within this function we're going to have two paths so it's a bad path and a happy path within our happy path we're going to want to do user equals request dot query and we're going to want to extract the name query parameter so to simulate us doing something with this we're going to call the print function so print creating a new user with name user. And finally, we're gonna to want to return a response. So response object equals 
status success and a message user successfully created and we're going to want to return this so web dot response text equals json dot dumps similar to above response object and we want to set the status to equal 200 again which is the okay status in our unhappy path or our bad path we're going to want to define our response object equals status failed and we're going to want to return why it failed so message equals string e and finally we're going to want to return our response so web.response text equals json.dumps and we're going to want to set the status to equal 500 which is a status error now that we've done this we want to register this new post uh, route so app.router.add post and we're going to want this to equal user and we're going to want to set our handler as new user so now that we've done that we can come in here control c and start our application again and then we come back to our postman so we want to set this as a post request and we want to set user and name equals Elliot and we want to send this so we can see that it's returned our 200 status with the message that user has been successfully created now if we try taking out the query parameter and just simply trying to do a post request to user we should also see that our bad path worked as well we received a 500 internal server error and we can see that our key um, was not found the, the name key was not found so that that should be enough to get you up and running creating your own aio http based rest apis um, if you enjoyed this tutorial found it useful then please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more python tutorials in the future cheers